Welcome to the Beyond 20 ServiceNow REST API tutorial series. In this video, we will cover how to connect to the ServiceNow REST API with a JavaScript web page using basic authentication. Basic authentication is a relatively older API access standard which utilizes a user record stored in the ServiceNow sys user table to access the API. Let's begin in our ServiceNow instance and we will navigate over to the sys user table. And if you haven't already done so, just click new to create a new record or you can click on the record that you've already created and we've created two users I'm going to use the b20 API test user here uh, if this is just set up for web service access only you would check this box right here you also if you haven't already if it's not an interactive user you can uh, set the password right here and then just copy that password into your application and then if you need to set up roles you go ahead and you add the roles by just clicking edit and add the roles that you want and then of course we recommend that if it's just an API user include the rest and soap roles and then ITIL and then possibly any specific role that you will need for the methods that you're going to access this for. Next we need to enable each API you'll be accessing from your JavaScript application in the REST cores rules. Now what is cores? Cores is a cross-origin resource sharing protocol. It's used by REST APIs and browsers to add an extra layer of security by preventing API calls across browser domains from JavaScript without the proper cores rules and headers. So there's two pieces to this. You need to add the cores rule to ServiceNow. So we'll do that right here. We go to all, type in REST, and then cores rules. If you haven't already set one up, you just click new. If you've already set one up like we've done here, go ahead and click the demo lab one that we have. And what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you, because they don't show you necessarily what the API is that the rule is for, I would go ahead and add that rule right here. So let's add table name, our table API to this. And then the domain, which is the critical piece. In our case, our lab is set up on a local host, but it also has a SSL certificate. So it has its own local domain name. So we just enter that domain name here. You can also use wildcards. If it's like yourcompany.com, you can put a wildcard in there. So any um, application that's on yourcompany.com would be able to access this using this cores rule. Next, we go to the HTTP headers, and we want to add or include this rule in the exposed headers. It's called Access Control Allow Origin. And then our HTTP methods that we will use in our application. You can select one or all of them, and then we will go ahead and click Update or Submit if this is a brand new one. Now, the max age, I just left it as a default of zero. Okay, so now we want to go into our application, and in our JavaScript, we need to include some headers in our XML HTTP request. So the first header is the accept, which is application JSON, the content type, which is also application JSON, and then this is our cores rule. This is allow access control origin and it must be the same domain here that we entered into the rule and then of course our authorization which is basic and then our credential which is username colon password and then that entire credential is is base64 encoded so we've already done that before we get into this right here okay all right let's try that out Go into our Beyond 20 lab and we will enter our instance. 
instance. I'm going to say that we're using the basic authentication. I'm going to go ahead and use that B20 test API user. Set up the pass or enter the password. We'll select table API because that's the only cores rule we have set up. We'll select incident. And there's our result back 200. And we have our result back as a, a JSON array. I hope this video has been informative for you. Please subscribe to our Beyond 20 LLC channel on YouTube to view more videos on ServiceNow API, ServiceNow administration and development, as well as ITIL and other ITSM solutions provided by Beyond 20. Or visit our website at www.beyond20.com to learn how Beyond 20 can assist your company with ITSM training and consulting, as well as ServiceNow development and administration.